So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th React Native tutorial in which we're going to take a look at something known as uncontrolled and controlled components and what's basically the difference between them. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are with our little dirty application from the last video and let's just first of all get rid of these methods right here and this one as well. Here we are there we go and it's safe all right so so far so good now the thing is if we take a look at the last video what we did is that we had to retrieve value of this text input somehow right so um, what we did first of all is just assigned a state variable to its value and on change text we just updated that state variable so that we get um, the value all the time so the UI and the react JS code react native code is always in sync right so that's a way and the way is you just get this input value whenever you want to for example like on click of a button or you know some action or whatever so it's a specific event right so for example if you if I create a button right here so let's just say this button has a title of uh, hello and if I just save this, uh, let me just include this button here as well. So you can see that we get a nice little hello here. And what I want to do basically is that when it's pressed, this dot button pressed. Now let's just assign this dot button press. So this this dot button press dot bind this, right? And uh, we can just say button pressed is a method here. So what I want to do is basically get username and password values, right? So one way is to just like uh, we did earlier, but I'll just first of all explore the other way, which is like constant username, then getting that username value and password, getting that password value. So before that, what I want to do is show you is something known as, let me just shake it here. Um, debug js remotely so what it does when you click on it it will open chrome inside your um chrome browser or actually a react native debugger inside your chrome browser and you would be pretty much able to access um, your javascript right here so what we can do is basically say something like um, reference we want to refer this input field right so what I want to do is say something like a ref and then these curly braces input and I'm going to say this dot username is input. All right, what the heck happened here? Well, um, this is basically kind of like doing like ID is username in HTML, right? So pretty much you have done this thing. So now you can access this input through this dot username right so I'm just gonna get rid of this and say a similar thing to this dot password and I'm just putting an underscore here because I don't want to just randomly by mistake use another variable named username and set its property override its property so it's yeah, it's just like it's kind of private but it's not but anyways so um, what I want to do now is just basically say console.log this dot username and this dot password let's just see what this has gotten for us and basically uh, before that what I want to do is uh, yeah, just nothing okay so let's just save this and type something type something and hit hello here right and you can see right here if I zoom in a little we get username and password here so if I go to like this property last native text you see that we get the actual text F G V C which is in username right and on similar basis we can get last native text on this right so this is like kind of loading your value on demand so I can say username is this dot username dot last native text 
if I spell it right, yep, and constant password is this dot password dot last native text. I can just say um, username password just like that and just get rid of this as well hit save and hit save again because react native is stubborn and here we are so now if i enter ffu and fff and hit hello because i'm not sure why i did that so ffu is username and fff is password right now this is one way now this thing the way I have done it right now is called uncontrolled uncontrolled component and basically it's not really uncontrolled component in react native this controlled and uncontrolled analogy is um, I've just stolen it from react JS because in react JS um, this is the concept right so uncontrolled components are like this so Android is managing its value and is giving you whenever you want to access it right you do not have access to it all the time for to make it a controlled component what you need to do is first of all we no longer need this reference and what we can do is to say default value of this dot state dot username and I can say like on change text is Text and I can say this dot set state um, username is text. Right. Uh, similar basis, we can do this thing and this one as well. Password. Password as text. There we are. I can just initialize the state with a blank object if you wish, or yeah, that should be good, I guess. Right. So now. What I want to do is get rid of these two ones as well. So now I always have access to this dot username and this dot password, irrespective if I press the button or not. So I would always have access to um, username and password because React is now managing those values instead of um, letting the host platform, in this case Android, to manage it. Right. So if I hit save now, and if I just enter something like this. And hit hello you can see that we get undefined because um, this dot state dot username not username like that and this dot state dot password let's just try one more time and hit hello and you can see that we get just like before but this time react is managing so this is a controlled component now the thing is that uh, you react actually recommends you to always not really always use control but in most of the cases use controlled components that's okay to use controlled components but the thing is that if you do not really need to interact with these components a lot what i believe is that you are kind of like you know updating state at every keystroke so it might not really hurt performance that much but I guess you could just go ahead with uh, an uncontrolled approach if you're not really interacting with the component at all so um, you can do that otherwise it's equally good if you're just going a controlled way as well basically just having this a controlled as a controlled component gives you a lot more power than uncontrolled one so yeah that's the basic difference between control and uncontrolled components so that's all for this video i guess and i'll see you then in part 11